switching to one of these could be one of the smartest decisions you make. It's made me happier, less stressed, and I'm going to share the seven things you should know so you can get these benefits too. So why are people doing this? The obvious reason is to get rid of distraction, right? Because if you're like me, whenever you have a spare second, you instantly just whip out your phone and find something to fill the time with. By making the switch, you are getting rid of social media, games, and all the other apps that are just interrupting you from whatever you're currently doing. By saying no to all these things, you have more time and you can be more productive. Let's not also forget about cost. If you're using one of these things, it means that you don't need to replace it with a new smartphone, what's going to cost a lot of money. Also, if you do decide to keep using this thing, you can reduce your data plan and drastically pay less each month. Whether we care to admit it, we're more anxious, depressed, stressed, angry than our parents' generation. And many fingers are pointed towards our smartphones as one of the main causes, but more specifically, the apps we use on our phones. But these apps are so cleverly designed. Everything you see and don't see is so intentionally made for one purpose. Do you really think Twitter or Instagram or TikTok care so much about how good your experience is on the phone. No. They want us on them as long as possible, constantly scrolling, watching as many ads as possible because it's watching ads that makes them money. And that's why they make scrolling just so addictive. But the truth is we don't need social media to stay in contact with our family and friends. This is one of the things I've learned from making the switch to a dumb phone three months ago. And also what I've learned from quitting social media for two years now. By moving your conversations over to text or WhatsApp, what you can get on some dumb phones is just a huge win for your mental health. Oh, by the way, you can turn your smartphones into a dumb phone, kind of, because let's be honest, after this video, you're not gonna throw this in the bin and straight away get one of these. That's probably not gonna happen. But you can start with baby steps by deleting certain apps, turning off notifications, and moving your conversations off social media and this is going to help you just stop being so distracted by your phone. I understand that apps like parking and travel and banking can be crucial to our everyday life and that's why it's important to make those steps so it basically just becomes a tool, something we use purely out of necessity. But now I'm going to share all the things I've learned, what you probably wouldn't expect but need to know before making a decision. Let's cut to the chase. Ultimately, by making this decision, you're rejecting convenience and accepting boredom. That's the bottom line, right? And I'm struggling with this too, remembering that it's okay to be bored and not filling every minute of my day with some kind of distraction it's okay. And maybe being bored for a minute isn't the worst thing in the world. Maybe you're excited about giving this a try and you really should. It is a fun little experiment, but let's not pretend it's extremely inconvenient. I mean, smartphones are amazing. You can just coast throughout your days, just not having to worry about anything. What we have to bear in mind when making this decision, going to a dumb phone, is we are getting rid of the biggest distraction in our lives. I think this is a really good way to start and I think you'll benefit from it too. Your biggest concern right now might be, I don't know, this is a big change. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. I was exactly like you thinking the exact same thing, but trust me, you adapt fast. Making big changes like this forces you to find replacements and build new habits. I remember when I did a dopamine detox, what is basically like no tech for a week. And it was so hard in the first day or two. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just trying to fill time, but by the end, and because I was forced to make changes and come up with new things, I was able to make that change. And by the end of the week, I had a new routine doing different things without watching television, going on my phone, going on the laptop, anything. I promise you'll feel the same way with a dumb phone. Once you figure out how you're going to function, how you're going to communicate, 
eat and do all the things that you needed to do every day with your smartphone, once you've sorted all that out, you will be fine. If you do decide to get a dumb phone, it can be a little bit embarrassing pulling it out in public, especially when I need to turn it on. So a well-timed cough is definitely advised. <coughs> I've just sat down to start editing and just realised there's a whole section that I've just completely forgotten to record. <laughs> so I'm sure you can imagine you're going to have a lot more time on your hands now than you did before. Especially in those small chunks of time where you originally would have just pulled out your phone to fill those few minutes. Now if you don't want to be pulling your hair out out of boredom, you're going to need to find some kind of replacement. But what I've been doing is if I'm out in public and and I'm waiting for something. I just look around and it's reminded me that it's okay to just do nothing sometimes. Now, unless you get comfortable with this, you're going to struggle with all of this spare time. The best thing you can do is to do something productive. <sighs> oh, it's been such a long day. <laughs> the most important lesson I've learned from having no smartphone for three months is I used to think this was so important. I used it all the time and made it such an essential part of my life. But now I've realized just how wrong that was. And my iPhone is not essential. Is it convenient? Yes. Does it make life easier? Also yes. Is it a hassle not having a parking app on my phone? Yes, but that still doesn't change the fact I don't need a smartphone. And it's that word need that I think is really important because I'm going to get a new smartphone. I will at some point, but I always need to remember that no matter how essential I end up making it, my life was just as good without it. What leads me to my last revelation. I've gone from using a smartphone every day to using a dumb phone to basically using no phone. This phone that I carry around with me, I barely use. I still use my laptop and I use my wife's phone for the odd thing, but apart from that, I barely use this phone. I'm basically phoneless. <laughs> but what I can't get my head around is I never saw this coming. And that may sound really scary to you. You may be afraid of, oh my God, I don't wanna never use a smartphone again. But the thing is, I never intended for this to happen. That's just how it turned out. So if you do decide to make this change, maybe it's just for a week or for a month. You have no idea what your life will look like at the end of it, and that's really exciting. You have a ton of habits built around your phone, good ones and bad ones. In this next video, I'll show you how you can use the best habit building strategies to make doing things you thought were impossible super easy. <laughs> oh.